12 things every Samsung Galaxy S6 owner should do. It's not required to have a Samsung account to use a Samsung phone, but if you don't have a Samsung account, you're gonna miss out on some of the things in this guide. It's best to just do it now and be done with it. If you've used a Samsung device in the past, you probably already have an account and you can just sign in with that. If you don't, Samsung now lets you associate your Samsung account with a Google account, which is the easiest way to do it since you already signed into the phone with a Google account to begin with. One of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do is migrate data from your old device. Whether that's an iOS device or another Android device, Samsung has an app called Smart Switch Mobile, which makes it easy. To migrate data from an iPhone or an iPad, in the Smart Switch app, select Import from iCloud and enter your Apple ID. Next, you're gonna to wanna to choose the content you wish to transfer, and you'll see Android apps equivalent to the ones on your iPhone. Tap the ones you wish to download. To switch from another Android device, make sure the Smart Switch app is downloaded on both your Galaxy S6 and the old device. Place the two devices within four inches of each other, select the content you wish to transfer, and tap Transfer. Tap OK on your Galaxy S6 to receive all the content. The fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy S6 is much improved. You're gonna to wanna to use it. To do that, in the settings, go to lock screen and security. Next, tap on fingerprint and then add a fingerprint. Follow the instructions. You're gonna uh, basically tap your finger a bunch of times until it's 100% scanned. Then you're gonna create a backup password just in case for some reason it doesn't recognize your fingerprint and tap okay to be done. And then when you want to unlock your phone, all you have to do is press your thumb on the home button. Samsung has built in a lot of ways to customize the Galaxy S6. One of the easiest ways is to just change up the wallpaper. Long press on any blank space on the home screen and press wallpaper. You can choose from your own gallery or from some of the included wallpapers. In the same way, you can also add a widget to your home screen. And in the same way, you can also adjust the screen grid in case you want to put more icons on each page. You can go from 4x4 to 5x5. To create a folder, simply drag an app icon on top of another icon, and it will create a folder, and then you can change the color and give it a name. If you want to drastically change the way your Galaxy S6 looks, you can change the theme. To do that, you're gonna go into the themes from the settings, and you'll see a bunch of different themes that you can browse. You can also go into the store and download new themes from Samsung. Once you've downloaded a theme or selected a theme, you can just hit apply, and it will show up and change everything from the wallpaper to the icons. It's a completely new look. Samsung has done a much better job at sort of trimming the fat and touch whiz, but there are still some apps installed that you might not want. To get rid of them, go into the app drawer and hit the edit button. There's gonna be little minus icons on top of the apps. If you tap that icon, you should be able to uninstall or at least disable an app that you might not want. If you want to get rid of the annoying flipboard briefing panel, you can simply pinch out on the home screen, swipe over to it and uncheck the little box on top and now it's gone. We recommend using the actual flipboard app from the Play Store if you want this. Google Now is by far one of the best features of Android phones today. You're going to want to use this. To get started, open up the Google app and select get started if this is your first time opening it. When asked to set up Google Now, select yes, I'm in. Once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to swipe in from the left side of the screen and tap customize from the slide out menu. And here there's a bunch of different things that you can do. You can select your favorite sports teams, favorite stocks that you wanna watch, and just a whole lot of other stuff. But the main feature of Google Now is it's gonna display information that it thinks you need. To edit the toggles that show up in the quick settings, you can pull down and tap edit, and then it's simply drag and drop to your heart's content all the shortcuts that you wish to see.
The Galaxy S6 is already infamous for having bad battery life, so you're going to want to make sure to get the most out of it. There's a couple different ways you can do that, and one of the easiest is actually just using a black wallpaper. The AMOLED display doesn't light up black pixels, so you can theoretically save some life just by using a black wallpaper. Just do a Google search for black wallpaper and you can find one there. You can also enable ultra power saving mode, which is gonna put the phone into a black and white grayscale mode. And it's gonna restrict application usage to only essential apps, and it's gonna turn off mobile data when the screen is off. So it's gonna make your phone kinda of hard to use, but it's gonna save a lot of battery life. The Galaxy S6 controversially does not have expandable storage, but that doesn't mean you're limited to the storage that comes with the phone. You can use a cloud storage app to get much more. If you own the Galaxy S6, you actually have 100 gigabytes of free storage waiting in OneDrive. All you have to do is open the app which comes pre-installed and sign in or create an account and you should get your 100 gigabytes for two years. Last but certainly not least is to explore the Samsung Galaxy S6 forums at androidforums.com. You'll find conversations about customization, troubleshooting, accessories, and much more. It's the best place to go to ask questions and learn more about your shiny new Galaxy S6. If you'd like more information and full step-by-step -step instructions on all of these things, head over to the link in the description, and thanks for watching.